Hello, Hello Floss Tube. We're the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. And we're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. Lots of stitching this week. Lots of preparation for mania. So <laughs> this will be probably a little bit longer video than normal because we're going to go through our mania plans uh, at the end of the video. Okay. So shout outs that we have for this week, uh, basic stitches. They're both doing the bless our home style as many of you are. Thank you so much for joining us mm -hmm. and they have a really cute way of finishing it. So check them out. It's basic stitches on YouTube. And then we've got some new floss tubers to shout it as well. Carolyn Clifford, Harriet Basham and Sarah Shepard. So check them out if you have some time as well. They stitch really cute things. So we like really cute things. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so questions this week. Uh, Lynn wanted to know, Chelsea, well, lots of you. So thank you for all the com compliments last week on my hair. Um, did you curl your hair or is it like that naturally? I used a three barrel, you know, going back to my high school days of like Grimper. crimping it. It's a three barrel that I use. Truth be told, let's be honest, I just didn't want to wash my hair that day. So I decided to crimp it. <laughs> um, I thought it was because Bonnie said your hair looked cute like that in a throwback she Picture. did. Thanks, Bonnie. <laughs> but um, also, I didn't want to wash my hair. Not that Bonnie watches. <laughs> um, Tammy, what colors did you use for Bless Our Home? I can't find uh, the listing on your blog. Uh, we used Barn, Barn Door, Door, Old Blue Jeans. Stepping Stones and Eve's Leaves. All classic Correct. color works. All right. And then I used some yellow, too, for some of the flowers. And I didn't have a tag on it. And I feel it like was it was yellow. Ohio Lemon Pie from one of my seasons in chalk. Yeah, I used uh, yellow too. I just had some DMC that I found. I think it was uh, DMC 676, I think. I'll check on my Instagram. Somebody asked that same You don't need a whole it. lot of it though. No, so it's yeah, the, just the pick, little inserts. Pick out a little bit of yellow if you want to add some yellow. All right, um, Shannon, how do you keep the chalkboard uh, edges that you draw if you're doing that uh, from smudging? You don't. You just redraw it if it smudges. Right. It, she doesn't know. seal it. I don't usually have that much trouble with that because nobody touches them. They know better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Sharon wants to know, how do you store your charts and do you store them by theme or designer? So she uses thrift store baskets that she's found that are very nice baskets. We've come across some really good finds at thrift stores. I use... Um, Except for my prairie schoolers, they're in one of those two-gallon Ziploc bags. Yes. Um, and they I, stay in the coffee table. My other charts are like in baskets. And she does by designer. And if you ever see pictures of my family room, they're behind my chair in baskets. Yep. <laughs> I do by designer as well, but I think I'm going to change that up and go to season because I've just been seasonally stitching lately and whatever. I don't know. That's how mine are too. But since we've been rifling through them, they aren't so orderly. I don't want to hear about that. You dumped your floss literally <laughs> yesterday. I was in a hurry. <laughs> um, okay, and then uh, mine, sorry, mine are in file folders. What are those called? Are they file folders? She likes to organize way more than I do. I, I, do. I just want to stitch. <laughs> and, and hope that she comes and organizes mine. Yeah, um, the oldest organized her floss the other day for her, and then yesterday she sent me a picture of her floss all dumped out and just... <laughs> oh! All right, uh, Christy wanted to know, do you referee the wrestling matches or let elbows fly? Kind of both. We kind of referee from the kitchen, like, hey, knock it off. Or Sometimes <laughs> we have to get in there and wrestle back, so. I cannot, <laughs> so. You used to. I used to, I cannot anymore. Um, and just finished Ornamental Joy by Country Cottage Needleworks. I think you finished that last mm -hmm. year. But I haven't finished, finished it. Right, she's thinking about a red frame. She wants to know what you think. Yeah, that would be cute. Okay. I, I bought a piece at a thrift store with a little house on it, and it was like a chalet, and I thought, oh my gosh, it's going to fit, and it's too big. Too big. So I'm still looking. Uh, Cynthia wanted to know, have you ever checked out the stitchery outside of Delavan? It's the oldest quilt shop in Wisconsin, and they have stitching stuff. No. We haven't, but that's, that's not, not that too far. far. Right. No. no. So field trip. Two weeks. Um, Elizabeth, when prepping your fabric, do you surge or zigzag the fabric? Nope. Nope. So you'll see our fabric has just phrase on phrase. Yeah. Sometimes when um, two, three stitch sends it surge, don't they? Yep. Yeah. Because we do have some pieces that are surged. 
But us, but we, we just want to We don't have a surgery I'm not for saying that thing. that's the right thing to do. So many people prep their fabric and get it the right I mean, we're we, always in a hurry. Right. We're not, <laughs> we're not saying to live by our, how we live, but we just want to stitch. So we dye the fabric. We don't iron it. We don't wash it. We just coffee tea dye it, let it dry. Stick after, it in the oven so that it sets it. Yep. And then, no, we don't iron it before we stitch. And we, then we don't zigzag. We just stitch on it. And we cut we, off the little pieces we, we that We are not so do. doing linen when we coffee tea dye. And I think linen wrinkles more than the stuff that we do, don't, doesn't it? I, I am not sure because I haven't been able to use So that. if you do linen and it's real wrinkly, you might have to iron it. Yep. You know, whatever. Do no, what no you rules. need to do. No cross-stitch police. I There's promise. There's not? Except for you when you what are you stitching tonight? You gotta have stuff for the video. <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> um, Ellie, why don't you stitch November? Chairs open. <laughs> <laughs> because I start decorating for Christmas November first. Like October. It takes me 31st a while. First night. Yeah. October thirty first. She's got night, the bins. Halloween's <laughs> going in the bins, and that's not true. I waited till November first. Uh, Liz wanted to know, does your fabric bleed or stain your hands when you're stitching on it or do you set it? No, mm -hmm. when we put it in the oven, it pretty much sets it. Yeah, and, and when, even when we iron it, like we iron on a white towel on the ironing board and there's nothing that comes off on that either. No. So, no, nothing. Casey wanted to know when smell. you... Smell. <laughs> it smells good. I love it. Mm -hmm. And that smell goes away, I mean, within a couple times of you stitching on it. Mm. Yeah. She just sniffed her fabric, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Um, Casey wanted to know when you change colors in your patterns, which you often do, do you carry that color throughout the entire pattern? Usually, yes. Like in Bless Our Home, when I changed the color of, of the, roof. the roof, yeah, the tree got that way too. And the door. And Chelsea said to me, you're going to do the tree in gray. I said, well, if you go look at a tree trunk, they're like dark grayish brown. They're not like She had me out there brown. smelling tree trunks. <laughs> So yeah, it's oh, fine. Oh, good. Uh, lovely eight. Where did you get the dishes behind you? Are they white or cream? We had those in an estate sale. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're ironstone, and I had looked for a while. This these we, we, we talk like, about all the frugal stuff. <laughs> yes. You were like guarding these, weren't you? So nobody else would get them while we made sure that mm -hmm. that's what you wanted. Mm -hmm. oh, and that's then, funny. do you remember that we were like? bargaining with the lady and I did get them for a really good price but they're just up there I just wanted them for my china cabinet I didn't want them to eat off of or anything they just sit there. so I still have like a box of cups and stuff like that in the basement that isn't in the china cabinet that went with them. mom is like the worst and the best to go with to estate <laughs> sales and rummage sales and that she's like no how about two dollars <laughs> And you, I kind of get embarrassed sometimes, so I just kind of like walk away. No, she's she's like, get this for me. I want to pay this much, and she won't ask the people, so it's my job. I either send her. I guess because I'm old, I get to. I send her, or at the flea markets, I send the kids to the people with just a certain amount of cash, and I say, just go off for this. <laughs> Gosh. Um, okay, are they white or cream? Cream. They are cream. Uh, Jill, where did you buy your tiered tray? Sam's Club. Both of them. I have an oval one and a round one, and they both came from Sam's Club. But, like, three years ago. But didn't they have them last year, too? Yeah. I think they had them last year, too. Yeah. Uh, you can find them at Pottery Barn. They're, like, 100 bucks. Ours were, like, 20-something. Chelsea has one, too. Or do you have two? I have one. She didn't get the oval one. No. And they have smaller versions at um, Hobby Lobby. Uh, the Inspired Needle, how did you do your hair? I three-barreled it. And have you been to the Kane County Flea Market? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she said she likes wearing her Uggs, too, and she can't. she's surprised that we can still wear our Uggs. I don't have Uggs on today. No taking off my shoes for you guys. Yep, I got flip-flops And on. yes, we've it's been to the out. Kane County Flea Market. We love it there. Any flea market we've been to. Uh, Michelle, what size wreath did you use for the trucks for Bless Our Home? I think I measured it yesterday and it was 14 inches. 14 inches. I think Chris asked me how big it was and I measured and I think it's 14 inches. Across. Uh, Doodlebug wanted to know, where do you find all the beautiful ticking colors and do you coffee tea dye them before you use it? We have a coffee tea dye them and we usually just pick them up at Joanne's, Hobby Lobby and some of the fabrics I've had for a long time. Years. 
And I did get the aqua one at a quilt shop in Florida, and that we did tea dye. Yes. Uh, Deanna wanted to know, this is the last question, how do you hang your wreaths on the doors? I have one of those command hooks on my basement door, so I can just put a wreath on there. Slap it up there. And then I did hang the Bless Our Home wreath on my powder room door that's in the family room, and I used one of those wreath hangers. You have a powder room? Bathroom. Oh. Small bathroom. <laughs> I do my powdering in there. <laughs> no powder. <laughs> we use paste. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all I have. You might. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be one of those days. This week I've been really into uh, wearing the clothes that you know you're not going to get out of the car in. So like when I go to pick up the kids, I just like hope and pray I don't see anybody I know and that I don't have to get out of the car. I've got my sweatpants and my Uggs on and... Just, it's a mess. I'm um, 29 weeks today. A lot of you, or yesterday I was 29 weeks. Uh, a lot of you mentioned that you didn't see the bump picture last week, so you'll see it this week. Don't worry. Congratulations, Abby, on your baby. Yeah. Finally. He's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have a lot to get through, so yep. what are you starting? And I don't have any previous finishes because I knew we were going through all of our mania stuff, and I didn't finish anything this week because... Ooh. I can't show you what I did finish, which is the Chug chalk and the farm. And oh my gosh, it's cute. And I can't wait till it's out. It's even better than the last one if there that's a possibility. So for whips, for Witchy Wednesday, I did some more of, and thank you, Calvin, for returning the... You little absconder. Hasn't mm -hmm. come back with the clicker yet, but... Yeah, and he was up on the table before we started this, so the bad cat. So you might end up getting to see him. Yeah. <laughs> I did some more of her apron. That's a big apron. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're not done with that yet? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, for Santa Sunday, the I started florist. the florist from the... Hometown Holidays. Right. And this is part of our one of our hashtags, PC Hometown Holidays. Um, and, and then, she oh my just, gosh, it's hickory sticks. <laughs> and she just announced the um, next one coming out. Which yeah, is the, the coffee shop will be out next, but then the next one after that is the clock maker. So that's awesome. Oh, are you keeping in your pie? Sorry. And then also on Santa Sunday, I was working on the tree farm, and I had... All the words down here and I was one stitch off so I had to rip them out and after I ripped them out and put them back in I was still off somehow so I had to rip it out again so it went to time out this Sunday it'll get worked on and finished and Kathy did a video last night where she showed the next three they are adorable mm-hmm we're excited mm-hmm it's it's like they fit perfectly except for they just need a little bit of red for me <laughs> This the, one, the it looks one like on the dog cake pedestal. On. I have so many cake pedestals. Yeah, it probably was when she was trying to get away from Calvin. Little House Needleworks. This is the Spring ABCs. This is amazing. Uh, and if you do recall, there's purple in this, so she changed it to uh, crab cakes. Is it crab cakes or ladybug? Ladybug. Ladybug, sorry. Edit. Mm -hmm. Ladybug. So cute. Can't wait till this is up on the shutter. And that's it for my whips this week. I have a bunch. Except I was all over the place. Talk on the farm. I can't show you. A um, couple more weeks. Oh, I took out the chart and said. And you picture. can still keep guessing what what kind of farm it is. Yep. Um, so Santa Sunday, uh, we all went to soccer, and then I graduated into a Costco membership. So <laughs> I, I spent like four hours in Costco after that. So I was very tired to stitch when I got home. Um, but I have. Worked some more on the poinsettia. Is it poinsettia? poinsettia place? Place, yes. Okay. Um, then red, white, and bloom. For oh. our Stars and Stripes Saturday. Yep. A lot of you are loving this fabric when I take pictures of it. So I, this is something that we probably just left in a little bit longer in the coffee tea. Or use more coffee. Or um, we might have started with tea dyed fabric to start with. Yep. But I absolutely love it. The colors pop, and it's a really fun stitch. I recommend it. Um, Witchy Wednesday, I am working on Silver Creek Samplers Spooky Boo. 
You're almost done with this. I'm not. There's a lot of full coverage down here. Oh, but it's so cute. I worked more on filling in the tombstone. I really like this one. Last week, the person that asked the question about how we figure out how big to cut our fabric, or how big to cut the sticky board when we're mounting it, like we said, we don't like a whole lot of the fabric showing. Yeah. So I'll measure the design and maybe add like an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch, but that's about it. Yep. Nothing huge. Yeah. Because like I said, I want the accent fabrics to have more of an impact around the edges than just regular cross-stitch fabric. And then I won't be done with this in time for May 1st, um, but this is the wordplay. I'm trying to figure out this. And don't forget that we have two stores that told us that are in our area that do ship that have them and they're listed on the bottom of our last video. So you can see these. These don't bother me though. I'm I'm not fussy when it comes to stitching. No. But if it, if it was a long piece and it was interfering with the back of my stitching, you know sometimes the little pieces get stuck behind your stitches. I just cut it off. It's not a big deal. Um, last night I worked on Lizzie Kate Seasons. So this is a great design. It has four uh, seasonal designs that you can swap out on there. And so cute. We did the spring one first and we put that on a silver old and crusty tray. Mm -hmm. uh, so this will just be able to swap out when it's summertime. And then uh, at soccer practice last night, I had a lot of stitching time yesterday in the car at school and in the car. Um, I did a little bit more of Baby's Bank Creek Patriotic Row, I think this one is. Mm -hmm. These rows are really great. So they're, cute. They're still pretty relevant too. I mean, they're older yeah. charts, but they're relevant like on one, two, three stitch at stitching stores. I see them all the time. And a lot of cute, easy little stitches. And then um, this one is Bless our, Bless our Home. So thank you so much for all the people that are joining in on this. This is Bless Our Home. Now I am going to be making some changes so I just have to figure that out. I have three dogs and I have this like psychotic feeling that my dogs will know if they're not in the stitching so mm -hmm. if I only stitch one <laughs> I would feel bad. So I'm going to find a way to put all three of them in there and then there's a bird on the fence. I'm going to do my hillbilly version with a chicken on the fence because that's what you would see at the Carter Coop and bless our home if there's not chickens everywhere. Okay, so that'll be to come. I think that's it for my whips this week. I, I just was all over the place. All right, then let's do the gift stuff first, and then we'll do our mania. Okay, so we received beautiful stuff this week. Um, Kimberly, she mentioned that she had these in her stash. You know, I bought one of them, and now I'm looking for all of them. So she sent me this. So thank you so much, Kimberly. I'm really excited to start these. I have um, so cute. mania plans for them. And then... Um, This was from Carol, and she sent it. She said, um, I have that. When we were talking about the Bank Creek mm -hmm. uh, Stars and Stripes, she's like, I have it. I already have Chelsea's address. I'm sending it. <laughs> like, Wait. <laughs> so she sent us Stars and Stripes forever. This is Carol with a K. This is amazing. This is another one like the uh, row, barn one right. that I'm s stitching for the baby, and, and they're quick. I mean, I, I would be done with it if I didn't have 47 other projects. And then she also snuck in this Lizzie Kate, which is God Bless America, and so cute. beautiful. Thank you, Carol. Thank you so much. And then I wanted to say... Um, we got these Timmy's last name. Week, right? <laughs> I'm so sorry. It was like, Timmy, Jimmy, we couldn't read the writing, so. <laughs> so today we made a note for me to remember, but we got these last week and they were handmade by Timmy. So thank you so much. I'm sorry I got your name wrong last week and I apologize. I, I don't know. And the chickens are going in the tear trays. I'm pregnant. But <laughs> <laughs> excuse? No? Okay. And, and then I can't Sally read, so. <laughs> she said, I don't have my glasses. <laughs> Sally Ann. Uh, oh my gosh, she spoils us. <laughs> she was the one who sent us uh, the, chick the chickens. Dolls. Yep. And I cannot get over what she sent us this week. They are absolutely beautiful. So she sent us these bee dolls. And mine is stuck to the crocheting. They're homemade. I mean, she Look at is. Look the little knitted sweaters. The knitted sweaters, the buttons on the pants, the outfits. 
so uh, just darling. I cannot wait to put this and up. And she sells these, and we will put a link to her Etsy shop below. Right, because bees are everywhere. And then, um, if that wasn't enough, right, she, she made us these little stitching books. So, with they're... all these hand stitched, like scissor fob things, and she sent us two charts okay. each. And I have to just show this like scissor fob. She has the most beautiful stitching. So, if you guys think that and mom such stitches pretty fast, fabrics, I mean, they're incredible. And of course, Just she sent work. hickory sticks, so you know she watches. <laughs> no. And she put my initial on this. She put my initial on the back On here the back, yep. With and then these. there's a little spool on the front to close it. it the, the, her detail amazing. and her creativity, I, I don't know. I think she's selling these, too. So... Oh. We'll, we'll link her. So she just mm -hmm. recently opened up an Etsy shop. Um, After her, we showed her dolls the last time yeah, because a lot of people beautiful. were interested in it. They're absolutely beautiful. So when, again, when we say that something is going to be linked below, there's a little arrow on the right-hand side under on the bottom of the video. our beautiful faces, and you just click that, and there'll be links below. Right, and you can also click there to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, my blog. All that stuff is all down below, too. You're shaking the table, Priscilla. And then she made this beautiful quilted bag for the baby with little sheeps on it and all the pockets. So cute. The button on the bottom. And she sent, she said, you know, I, I felt bad that the girls didn't have something once I made the baby something. So she sent them something. Mm -hmm. They're at school today, so I'm gonna have them open it when they get home. But thank and we'll you, show you next so week much. What it is. I mean. But look at these cute dolls with the knitted sweater. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. And you have a wonderful talent. A cute little note. So Sally Ann like spoiled us beyond belief. Beyond. Okay. Okay, and then we received these charts from another viewer. You want to show those two and I'll show yeah. these two? Look at this. And she doesn't want us to say her name. But thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And courtesy of her, we will be giving away these two seasonal celebrations later in at the, the video. end of the video. You gotta so watch all my stuff first. Stay tuned. There's Just the kidding. summer and the spring. Seasonal celebrations. So Country Cottage Nina we've works. both done those, but we do the top part. Mm -hmm. um, if you see, we I put mine on a wreath. I don't remember what you did for yours. Mine sits on that. Oh it's yeah, on that the pedestal little pedestal thing. Yeah. Okay, but you can check back with that. Oh, you can check back with that on there. Um, okay, mania. So last night, I um, yesterday actually a lot of yesterday, I started kidding up my stuff, and I I have told you guys that I have to be prepared for this. So I am going to try it. It's a goal. It's a stretch uh, to start 31 projects. It's my first mania. I can't believe she's doing 31. Again, if you don't know what Stitch Mania is, it's a group on Facebook. I think I made it through like eight days my first <laughs> It's a group. I'm going to have you saying, you better start stitching. Um, it's a group on Facebook that, you know, you just post progress. The original idea was that you start 15 new projects for the first 15 days of May. A lot of people are doing 18 today or this year because it's 2018. Mm -hmm. Some people do a new project each month. Some people, I mean, mm -hmm. there's no rules. You just focus on your stitching, create a goal for the month of May and do it. Mm -hmm. That's as easy as it is. Uh, so me, I told you I have to have everything kitted up. I need it to be ready and I don't want to be picking out colors that day. I want it all just ready to go. I do it like bi-weekly. So I did four things because I am taking a trip. So I needed the four things to take with me. Uh, so Mania starts on uh, Tuesday this year, month, next and month. I did try to have like our stitch along days. I tried to coordinate what I'm stitching with those. It makes it easier for mm -hmm. us to kind of keep that momentum going. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how are you going to go through yours? I'm just going to go day by day. This is my day one. Okay. It's a B line from Country Cottage Needleworks. I am not doing the alphabet on the bottom. I'm just doing like from the stems up into the B's. 
Um, and so she's put her floss in here in the bag. I have Ziploc bags for all of mine because I'm going to put my fabric tucked in there. Are you just going to be doing a yard of fabric? Or are you doing separate fabric for no, all these? No, I, I have, well, I'm just bringing a chunk with me because of going away, but okay, they, they will have separate fabrics. They will get them cut. I just haven't had time. I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off. But this is my list of all 31 days. And if it goes anything like last year, there'll be scribbles and there'll be a new one added. When I, you know, somebody, somebody comes, comes out, with, out new with a new chart and I'm like, ah! Absolutely. <laughs> so, all right. So okay. then for the second day. In my whole, this no. is her little notes. So, I mean, this it's is very easy messy. to keep. And she put it in a notebook. So then she has last year's and the year before's in here too. So she can kind of look through her progress. I think it's a nice touch. Some people do bullet journals. I mean, whatever. So the second day would be a Witchy Wednesday day. And you're doing Spirits and Spells by With Thy Needle and Thread. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is the third day. It's the Milk and Cream Company. By Plum Street Samplers. Day four is... Boo and Ba. From With Thy Needle and Thread. Oh, Boo and Bobby. Sorry. And she did the patriotic one of this, and it was behind here for a long time. There's little felt flowers that go on it. A lot of you raved about it. It's a really cute design. Birds of a feather. I'm going to do the small one. And that would be for Stars and Stripes Saturday. Okay. The Santa Rides. I'm going to start with the truck, and that's for Santa Sunday. Okay. Welcome Spring from With Thy Needle and Thread. And so these, she just has the pattern pulled. She doesn't have the floss yet. She's going to do her floss weekly. Mm -hmm. I'm doing my floss all at once. I might do more after I get back, but for right now, this is the best I can do. <laughs> With your floss dump yesterday. Bobbing for pumpkins. With thy needle and thread. Um, this is a bee cottage from Country Cottage Needleworks. A B C sampler is what it's called. Oh, okay, a, B, sorry. A B A and then B like the flying insect. C as the letter sampler. This one's really cute. Blackbird in from Little House Needleworks. And then I'm stitching two out of this book, but they're on two separate days. I'm stitching the big one down here, the America, and then the little round one. All right. So this one up here. And then this one right here. And then she's already stitched this one in the corner. And then this sampler in the middle from Prairie Schooler. Be careful because it's upside down and I don't want all this stuff to fall out. I know. Uh, she really, is that the one with the people in the bed? Yeah. Yep. So she I really love loves that. that. Oh, you guys got a good glimpse of my hands there. Um, <laughs> this is Sampler of the Season Summer uh, with Thy Needle and Thread. That's a big one. And spring from Lizzie Kate. And some of these are really small, and I might be able to finish them that day if I don't have other things to do. But other ones will I'll be with for a while. This is Buttons Black by Plum Street Samplers. This one, the chart is huge, but the actual stitching is small. So that one's a small. <laughs> Geranium House from Country Cottage. I think this is Happy Fall from Country Happy Cottage. Happy Fall, y'all. From Country Cottage. This one came out last year, right? Basket Full of Summertime from With Thy Needle and Thread. Is this another patriotic one or is this random? It might be random. It might be. Yeah, it's probably patriotic. Yeah, because here's a Christmas. Mary Three by Plum Street Samplers. Sampler House Three from... Plum Street Samplers. And then the Buzzy String from Lizzie Kate. And the Spooky String from Lizzie Kate. Oof. Snow for Christmas from With Thy Needle and Thread. And then the, the Two Crows. I'm not sure which one I'm starting, but I'll start one, but that's just considered one. Ida and Ira. Mm -hmm. I'll probably start the girl first. 
She'll probably start the boy first so she can put them in the baby's nursery. <laughs> Star Spangled Garden from With by Needle and Thread. So where is it? Should oh have had goodness. your page marked. I know. Priscilla. Here it is. Purple? The Cardinal from Home for the Holidays from Blackbird Designs. And that's in the uh, Home for the Holidays book. Mm -hmm. The Mary String from Lizzie Kate. Double Double from Prairie Schooler. I am going to substitute the Stars and Stripes row that we got for the patriotic design I had. Okay. And then the summer, this one over here of the Prairie Schoolers. And then I also have the Cricut Collection Fresh Eggs kitted up. So that's getting stuck in there too. So that would be 32. So that's it for me. All right. We had an interruption, but we're back. Okay. Um, so now we're going to go on to My Mania. I don't have them in the order that I'm... I have my list of stuff, but I, I didn't put them in order. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to kind of go through. Last night, I posted on my Instagram that I sent my husband for a sack of floss. His so receipt... Three for 99 cents. Yeah, his receipt was like two miles long. He got 80 skeins because I was kidding everything up. Um, everyone's like, oh, he's very sweet of you to do that. We also traded. He got to sleep in today, and I took the kids to school, so we're both even. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, he, he was a champ about it. Um, I couldn't do that because my husband would be just like, eh, we'll take five of those. <laughs> it doesn't matter what color you use. I have a list of, that I sent him. Um, so this was kind of my process. I wrote down every design that I had. I wrote down the DMC that it called for uh, after pulling the fancy floss for it, and I wrote down the stitch count. From there, I went to my calculator and I did all of my fabric calculations. So I know how big my pieces of fabric need to be. I'm gonna put this into a notebook. This was just what I had. I sat outside yesterday to get my vitamin D. This was a list of uh, DMC that I sent to my husband. <laughs> and then I started making my days. So I wrote down one through 31 and uh, what day they coincided with so I could use our hashtags. I'm trying to be organized. We'll see how it goes. Okay, um, so... We're just doing this off of you guys. Willy-nilly. <laughs> uh, Plum Street Samplers, Jack's Bash. Love it. This is a bigger it's, piece. It's, it's horrible with both of us having all these projects because we're like, I want oh, that, I want that, I want that. I want I want that. Ooh, I, I should that. go buy that. Mm -hmm. uh, Country Cottage Needleworks, Pumpkin Cottage. I stitched that a long time ago. You stitched that on Ada, right? Yeah, but it was actually tea and coffee dyed. Way back when. Uh, Silver Creek Samplers, Liberty Hill Farm. And I remember that was the first one that I ever bought over dyed floss for. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I thought All I right. was pretty spiffy using it. <laughs> this is Heart and Hand, Birds and the Bees. Oh, I have to put these back in the bag after you get done, right? Yeah, but this one didn't have a bag. This is Threadwork Primitives, Beggars 4. I'm going to be doing that one in DMC. So I have my Ziploc bag and then I have my floss put in here in the bottom and so it's all ready to go. Uh, this is, I have wanted to start this one forever. So this is Cinnamon Stars by Plum Street Samplers. I give you the bag, you can stick it back in okay? Yep. I'm just trying, I organized last night so I'm trying to keep it organized so I apologize. Some of these don't have floss. It, they do. I know, but there's none in the bag. Right, because that's all it calls for. And I haven't gone through my sack of floss and put the, the rest <laughs> of it in there. Uh, Mary Mary by Country Cottage Needleworks. And I believe... She should have this all organized by the end of May. Yeah, by the end. Um, <laughs> so I'm doing some smalls like this too, some smaller ornaments, so you can get a finish in there too. Mm -hmm. I mean, not hard. This is uh, Hands on Design, A Year in Chalk. This is going to be October, uh, so this only calls for two fancy floss, so I'm going to do it in the fancy floss, and I'm going to be stitching on black. So I tried stitching on black, but I, was, I had bad morning sickness, so I'm going to try it again. Back at it. 
Land of Liberty by Country Cottage Needleworks. I love that blue in there. It's cornflower. It's pretty. Oh, and you got the Mary String too. I do. Mary String by Lizzie Kate. We should have coordinated that so we would have it on the same day. Well, I, we still can't, we haven't started anything yet, so I'll just erase my days and put it there. This is Bittersweet September by Blackbird Designs. This is Jack in the Hat bag. This is another Threadwork Primitive, so this is a very small chart. Um, what I like about their charts is their color, so if you're... Um, I mean, to read the charts, they're really easy to read when they're in color for me. Uh, with the Needle on Thread is that way too, where they're mm -hmm. in color. This is a Little House Needlework Sweet Rose. This is another small. This one came with uh, the two fancy floss that you need, and then you just buy the DMC or substitute for what you already have. I love this one. I do too. This we got one. got that when we were. Yep, this I got out. at. Tomorrow's Heirlooms, Little House Needleworks, Brave Hearts. It is charted in Belsoi silks. I am going to be using co uh, Classic Colorworks. Just the cotton floss, sorry. <laughs> uh, this is Little House Needleworks again, Stars and Stripes. I stitched that one. A lot of my um, like fill-in days where we don't have a hashtag, I'm doing patriotic designs because uh, July, I mean, I'll be it's birthing a child, year. so I'll want patriotic stuff up in my house, but I might not have all of the time to do it. Uh, this is The Little Stitcher. Santa Claus is coming to town. Awesome. If you haven't checked out her designs, I would. She has some really great, beautiful... Have you seen like all her like green Christmas or blue mm -hmm. Christmas? They're beautiful. I love them all. And they're Ooh. charted in DMC. Um, this I'm really excited about. So this is uh, Lizzie Kate Tingles. So I'm that's a big project. <laughs> I've got all of these, and I'm using that as one start. I'm gonna start the first chart in the series, whether I start at the bottom or the top. This one I think I'm gonna start at the top because there's not a topper like there was mm -hmm. for um, Halloween rules. Uh, so this is the first one in there. And um, when you're going through these, they use almost all of the same floss. There might be one or two variations in the different charts, so it's really easy to, to kit everything up for it. Um, Little House Needleworks Old Glory. I absolutely love this. It's, was this her first shirt? No. no the other one, other one was. Is. The other one. I have that in there, too. I stitched that Old one, Old Glory. Too. I love this. This didn't have a bag? No. Okay. Um... And then uh, yearbook, Lizzie Kate's yearbook. So I'm going to start with the chart oh, shows. <laughs> yeah. The chart shows August or July and August. I'm going to start with August. I think it's so cute with um, the clothes on the line, and I don't have anything for the month of August. Then another big start. So Holy I, moly. <laughs> I want to get these going, and I think it's easy to knock out six charts with one start. Um, so Christmas rules. This one I'll be starting up at the bottom, which is Welcome Friends. So again, really easy to kit up the floss because a lot of them take the same floss. This was her first chart. This was her first chart as Little House Needlework. She did other designs and magazines before this. Mm -hmm. um, so this is called America. And she did charts for leisure arts. I've seen those on the Little House board. And this is all in DMC, so I'm probably going to keep it that way. Then another ornament, Country Cottage Needleworks, uh, By the Chimney. I think this guy is Faye so cute. Faye finished this for somebody, and they stitched it on blue polka dot fabric. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it was... Amazing. It's beautiful. I might try to stitch it on this. This is like a what's gray, it? gray blue. Gray tea dyed. So I'm getting oh, my fabric. Another free. big series. You're just killing all the series. Um, I still have to get my three that I have, but I'm gonna start this. It's the uh, Boo Club by Lizzie Kate. So I'm gonna have three long column ones that I'm starting but I was I felt so accomplished after I did that one this one's a small this is Jolly Jack by all through the night these little 
pedestals. I mean, the amount of these that we have in our homes is ridiculous. So this just draws me right in. Oh, I also wanted to show the color of the leaves for this. The color of the leaves is called Tobacco Road. And I don't know if you can see the variegation in that, but is it's it awesome. green and brown? Green, brownish, red, tan mm -hmm. for autumn leaves. I think it's perfect. Mm -hmm. um, sunflowers in summer. Country Let's Cottage Nail Works. And then I did it in a wreath. Oh, yeah. I love this one. I love all of these. Let's keep Oh, my gosh. I need that. Uh, summer Band Sampler. So I picked this up at uh, Inspired Needle. I need to get the rest of them, but I'm going to start with this one. They're uh, called for in DMC, so I'm going to stitch it in DMC. Lizzie Kate's ABC Halloween. This is one of the first... Yeah, this is the first Witchy Wednesday that I'm going to be doing is this one. I'm really that. excited about this. I stitched this. that one. Oh, I don't know where that one went. And then these two, they count as two different days. Uh, tree Farm, they use the same floss. So, again, easy to kit up. And cut and carry. Hands on design. By hands on design. Her ornament release. Uh, land that I love. This guy is super cute. More cutesy than anything. And that's a Country Cottage Needleworks. This is the July Cottage. I've got June done. We showed that on the piece of, what's it called? Shiplap. So this will go and replace the June. I did change some of the colors. I want to show that. I'm using blacksmith blue and deep blue sea. It called for kind of corn flowery colors. Again. Put the chart back in there. Keep me organized. Thank you. Another cottage, October cottage. Now this one, I had already had the fancy floss for it, so I threw it in there. Why not? Spring ABCs. And I'm using Priscilla's, um... Did you buy crab cakes or ladybug? Lord have mercy. Uh, I'm using Priscilla's conversion. Ladybug. Okay. I just don't know how to use my brain. Is that's that it? A, that's it for Chelsea. That's a lot. That is it. So I have a lot of series that I'm starting. I figure it's best to start now, get some stitches in it, and then it'll entice me to keep on working on it. Um, I don't know. I think it's going to be, oh, did I show this one? Yes, I showed Liberty Farm, right? Underneath there are the charts that we're giving away this week, right? No? No. Never mind. Never mind. Don't mix anything else up. <laughs> we got a lot of this stuff This is going to be uh, okay, a if you away. If you remember, we're giving away the seasonal celebrations, two of them. No, but for last week, we had the... Oh. Forest Friends from Little House Needleworks. It's somewhere. I wish I could show you the table right now. It's somewhere around here. Uh, so we do have a giveaway winner. So thank you so much for all your comments. I love reading them. Um, so many of you have different designers that you look forward to. And, and I know I sit there and kind of impatiently watch too at market time and any other time through the, mm -hmm. the season. I follow them on Instagram, on Facebook, on their website just to see what they're coming out with. Yep. For me, my, my biggest one when she comes out with a new chart, of course, is the hands-on design so I can see mine. <laughs> She's excited about that too. We also... Um, and Prairie Schooler. <laughs> Prairie Schooler, Country Cottage you know, Needlework, no, no Little House Needlework. I mean, we... Plum Street. Yep. With thy needle and thread. Everything that you saw here today. Yep. So... We have so many. Um, okay, so the winner is Michelle Acosta. So if you can, Michelle, congratulations. Get a hold of us. Two ways are better than one. Instagram, Facebook, mom's blog, um, email, YouTube, private message, however you can get a hold of mm -hmm. us. And congratulations. We'll, yep, we'll send that out to you. And then we have a giveaway today, two of the seasonal celebrations. Spring and summer, and then you only need to buy fall and winter. Yep, thank you to the... Um, giver of the giveaway our viewer yes that we doesn't want to be that. named we yes we appreciate it very much uh so today you're going to answer again please in the comments don't say anything about a giveaway be don't a subscriber, say anything about like the video free 
Um, because then just trolls get it. Mm -hmm. Internet trolls who look for giveaways get it instead of somebody yeah. who's actually going to stitch it. Um, okay, so you're answering how many Mania starts are you starting if you're participating in Mania. So if you're participating yes. in Mania, woohoo! If you're not, no big deal. You can still let us know that you're not participating and still be entered mm -hmm. in the giveaway. No harm, no foul. Um, we're just excited about it. It's something for me to kind of ramp up my stitching for the end of the year as well. Mm -hmm. And who doesn't want to start and then all the things? If she has all these things kitted up and started, you know, with having the baby, she can just grab something and stitch instead of having to worry about... It's not like we're not going to kit up other things and start them, though, so... Yeah, I know. <laughs> we, we could always say that. I mean, I think that's something we probably tell our husbands. Yeah, this is all I'm starting for the year, so... Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, the bigger projects, so something like Jack's Bash or the... What, all your Halloween, Christmas... No, the Summer uh, Sampler by oh, yeah. With Thy Needle. That's going to So take those, a while. I have only kitted up. Um, the floss that I know that I'm going to be starting with, that I'm going to get to, like I did like the top left corner, what mm -hmm. flosses I'm going to use for that to make it economical. And then once I finish those, I can go and purchase the rest of the floss, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. Yes. DMC, though, it was on sale. It was 33 cents. So any DMC I needed, I kitted up. And I did selfishly kit up multiple skeins so if I used 434 in one package I had him get me another one for a different project that I needed just so I don't have to hunt for it I'm mm -hmm. being selfish that I I don't want to look for it I'm lazy okay um I don't like having to look for it either <laughs> yeah you just throw it all over mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right you should see her stuff <laughs> right mine is all neatly put away well, you were just in charge of putting my stuff away, so I don't know. No, you put it back <laughs> in the bags. Um, okay, so what else do we have for you guys So today? if you get your inspiration from us for your finishing, tag my blog, tag us. We'd love to see it. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on, or like Instagram. my Facebook page, Priscilla's 2000, at Chelsea356 on Instagram, at Priscilla Blaine. Priscilla's 2000 is my blog, and you can click links below to see all of those things. We will also link Sally Ann's page so you can go check out her cute bee dolls and her sewing. Her little stitching carriers. The quality of these is absolutely phenomenal. I just wanted to put that out there. The attention to detail and everything mm -hmm. that she does to these is... They're adorable. It's fantastic. The little buttons, the little shirt underneath, and the overalls with the... It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely and, and amazing. Really <laughs> yeah, they're chunky. I love it. Um... So, and we appreciate all the gifts that we were given this week. We appreciate yes. all of you watching. We appreciate all of you commenting. We appreciate everything. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All the new subscribers, all the old subscribers. Likers, haters, dislikers. Mm -hmm. All of you. We love you. Um, people were upset about not seeing the bump last week. So you're going to see the bump and then you're going to see my arm reach over so I can turn off the camera. Do you have anything else to tell them? We'll see you next week. So each week now into Mania, because next week will be a Mania week, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you'll see what yeah, we worked starts, on. Right. How far you'll we got. Yeah, you'll see our Mania starts, and then you'll see if we went back to an older project for that week as well. All right. So I'm 29 weeks now. Um, I'm on my iron pills. Everything's good. I got some new pants that are falling down here. <sighs> you look kind of small today. Yeah, it's the black shirt. I'm by no means small for me, but okay. <laughs> you have seen the bump. All right, so we will see you guys next week.